So in this video, we're going to be working on our search box. Specifically, we're going to be creating an autocomplete feature so that whenever somebody types in the name of a post, a list of available posts shows up underneath. So to be able to do this, the first thing we need to do is we need to modify our API one more time. Because if we go to the old index page, you can see we have this search box. And if I was to type in hello and search that, you can see it returns a list of all of our posts with the word hello in it. But it returns it as a PHP array. And what we want to do is return it as JSON so that back on the index page, whenever we type the name of a post into the search box, it sends an AJAX request to the API and the API will return some JSON. And then we can use JavaScript on our index page to format the JSON to display it underneath this search box. So the first thing we have to do is we have to go to our API. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new URL. So if I copy this and then say else and paste it in there, we're going to create a URL called search. So when we send a get request to API slash search, we want to search our database. And since we've already implemented that on our index page, what we're going to do is click on index.php and we can see if is set search box, this is our search code. What we're going to do is we're just going to copy this and back on our API, we're just going to paste this in. So the first thing I'm going to do is just delete this query to do with our users table. We're going to delete that. And here we have our two search variable. We're going to change that from post search box to get query. That way the two search variable is coming from the URL when we type in question mark query equals. And in this case, the word hello will be inserted into that function. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and change this from post search box to get query as well. And down here, when we actually run the query, we're going to change it to DB query because we're using our new DB class. Now, if I was to run this, you can see we get all of our posts printed out with the word hello in them. If I change, if I change this to world, we only get posts with the word world in them. And if I change this to dot PHP, you can see there's a post with dot PHP in it and I hit enter. We only get posts with the word dot PHP in it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say echo JSON encode posts to convert our posts array to a string of JSON. And now you can see here's our JSON. If I was to right click and view the page source, you can see here is all of our JSON. And if I was to go above here and echo some pre tags, so you can see all of our JSON got returned, but you can see we have these weird zero elements in each of the JSON objects. So to fix that, all we need to do is go into our database class. And in here, when we run our fetch all, we want to say fetch all PDO fetch ASSOC, which stands for fetch associative, which essentially just means we're only going to get the column names and the column values. So now if I refresh the page, you can see we only get the actual column name from the table that we selected, which in this case was body, we get hello world, and we get it printed out like that. If I wanted to select more, what I could do is I could select posts body, I could select posts dot posted at refresh and now you can see they get printed out and I can also get the user who posted it. I could say users dot username and then I could run a simple join here where I say where users dot ID equals posts dot user underscore ID and then I could put an and here just to append that on. So now we'll have joined those two tables together and before I run that I also have to select from the users table. And now you can see we know who posted the post, we know when it was posted, we know the actual post itself. And if I delete the query and scroll down, you can see we have posts from other users. And then finally, what we can do is we can just put a limit on the number of posts that are returned. I just come in here and I say limit, and I could put in a limit of 10, for example. And now if you look at this scroll bar and I refresh, the scroll bar has just shrunk because the number of rows returned is limited to 10. Because if you're typing into this search box, you're not going to want a search box that goes all the way down to the bottom of the page to appear. You want the search box to be limited uh, and then to get more specific as the, the more you type. So that's what this allows us to do by limiting it to only 10 rows returned. And in the next video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using jQuery and Ajax so that whenever we type into this search box, it queries our API and it returns us all of the posts that are relevant to our search query below to make it easier when we're searching for a particular post. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. If you have any questions, don't forget to email me at francis at But that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.